I was one to get regular checkups, especially after I turned 40. Uh, everything checked out great, and then one day he uh, called me and said uh, I had a uh, elevated uh, PSA count. I had a meeting with my doctor, uh, who explained it to me. He said that uh, with a count that high, that he would like me to go get a um, tissue biopsy uh, because it could be a possible cancerous condition. Anytime anyone says you uh, could possibly have cancer, I think everybody gets a little bit afraid. And I mean, cancer is probably one of the scariest things that um, you know a doctor can tell you that uh, you might have. So I mean, there's going to be a certain level level of anxiety. Uh, also determined, uh, you know, let's get it done and let's see and uh, let's go on with whatever course of treatment we need to get on with. Because the earlier that you get treatment on something like that, if the test does come back positive, the easier the outcome and the uh, better it is. So it was a no-brainer for me. I mean, I have uh, known my primary care physician for many years and I trust his advice. They put a probe up your anus, then they take 12 separate tissue samples off of your prostate after they numb it. It was uncomfortable, um, but you know, 20 minutes of discomfort for you know, peace of mind or finding out what happened, I think was a pretty good trade-off. Dr. Bentley kind of walked me through it. I mean, he told me when he numbed it, he told me when he was about halfway done because I think he recognized that I was uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I didn't handle it very well. <laughs> You know, I uh, went back to uh, <coughs> childbirthing classes with my wife, and I think I was practicing my breathing techniques uh, during the whole thing. <laughs> the worst part about it was probably the uh, day leading up to it. You know, just the uh, not knowing what it was going to be, if it was really going to hurt, and how uncomfortable it was going to be. And it wasn't that horrible. I mean, I, it's not something I would do uh, uh, on a regular basis if I didn't have to. But uh, probably, you know, the worst part was probably the fear of the unknown. He told me that I would have some blood in my uh, urine, blood in my semen for, you know, a month or two, uh, which I did. Uh, but then, you know, he just uh, sent me home and I think I got the results about a week later, maybe two weeks later. Nobody likes to have a test done and not know the results right away. So there was a little bit of um, um, worry, I guess. You know, my wife uh, tends to be very dramatic anyways. and. Uh, I think she, like I said, she was probably making more of a big deal out of it than I was. But those results were negative, uh, no cancerous condition. That it's not that big a deal. It's just, you know, it's a 20 minutes of discomfort for, you know, knowing. Uh, and if it had been a positive result uh, where I did have cancer, I would have wanted to know about it right away. Be proactive about your health. You know, go to get regular physicals. Be proactive to find out if something is going on or if your numbers aren't good and handle the problem before it gets worse. I mean, the earlier it's handled, the better the outcome.